I'm going to tell you guys some things I wish I knew. I wish someone told me. Or I could have just looked up the video on YouTube. But I didn't. That's okay. We live and we learn, right? <laughs> so we see you welcome back to my channel it's your girl Shaiwa back again with another video I'm just gonna be talking to you guys about what I wish I knew before I started my YouTube channel I really hope this video is useful to someone out there that's thinking about starting YouTube but has not gotten the courage to do so <laughs> you feel me before we get started just wanted to give a quick shout out to team blends just a shout out to team blends um, they sent me their detox um, plan which is about 30 days long and it's used for detoxing everything in your guts um, if you want to start a healthy lifestyle journey and you're looking for a quick boost this would definitely be the product for you my favorite thing that they sent me is actually their tumbler as you can see um, it has tea and I literally just finished some tea in there that's why um, it's green like this so I've actually started mine and I've been detoxing and guys, I can tell you, I've seen a difference. Um, my stomach is flatter. Yes. My stomach is actually flatter. I have a discount code. I'm going to put it right up here. If you want to shop, you can definitely use my discount code. And you can also use the link in my description box at the bottom. Everything about this is in the description box. If this is your first time here, don't forget to subscribe. Click subscribe. Um, like the video. And I hope you become part of my family on YouTube. I have a few notes. So the first thing I wish I knew before I started a YouTube channel was how to edit. So your girl did not know how to edit. Guys, I did not know how to edit. I knew how to edit pictures, but um, I didn't know how to edit a video. I was just like, I'll figure it out. So I'm going to say before you start a YouTube channel, make a sample video of what you wouldn't actually post and just try out, you know, the regular how to edit. Um, iMovie is what I use. I use iMovie on my phone and I also use Final Cut Pro on my laptop. So I go between both of those because iMovie only has so many features. Final Cut has a lot more features than iMovie. So I kind of wish I knew how to edit first. That's what held me back from putting my first video out. But I was like, let me just do it and try my hands on it. Literally research, everything is on YouTube. Just like start typing, how do I edit? It's gonna pop up how to edit on iMovie. There's help out there. So um, if you wanna start your channel, just go ahead and go for it. Second thing um, I would say, is have a list of videos that you want to shoot over the next few months guys y'all let me tell you i didn't even take this piece of advice i did not like i wish i knew better at the time because you know i i'm still learning how to you know just make content in advance like just write out what i want to make and go for it so I'm going to tell you guys, don't make the same mistake I made. Get your pen and paper, have a notebook, and just write out what you want to do. If you want to post every week, or if you want to post twice a week, if you want to post three times a week, write down your ideas on a piece of paper, on your iPad. Write down your ideas, brainstorm. Everyone is different. We have full-time YouTubers out here that that's all they do. Kudos to them. It's not easy. And then we got people that are students and they have YouTube. And we got people that are students working a full-time job and they have YouTube, which is what I do. So it depends on how frequent you want to be on YouTube. Don't just shoot your first video. Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is going to be about beauty, lifestyle, hair, and makeup. And you leave it like that and then you're ghost for like three months. Okay, I loved her first video. Where did she go? Once you put out that first content and you know that you're popping, you know that you have things to share with the world, people are going to want to see you again. <laughs> Do you have personality? So depending on what market you're going for, that's going to matter. For example, if I do makeup and I just do makeup really good, like I'm so good that I don't even have to talk in my videos. I just have to do a voiceover and show you guys how I beat my face. 
cool i'm gonna sell my market or i'm gonna get those views and engagement because i am just really dope at what i do but <laughs> if i do okay makeup like this you know okay makeup and i'm doing a voiceover why will people come back to my channel and i started being more myself i started showing my personality so i started showing my personality and haul videos, vlogs, and people were like, oh, so this is how you are. What's special about my channel that 200 other people don't already have? Personality. There is only one you, okay? There is no one else that's like you. But I'll tell you guys, once you continue filming, naturally your personality, everything just starts to come out. My personality started showing after I did my sibling tag. I think that's when my personality started showing. So yes, bringing people on your channel helps you be yourself more because you're not just having a monologue every time. <laughs> Whenever I bring people on my channel, I love it. Um, but also get comfortable with just being yourself by yourself, you know. Um, but if that's what you got to do, start with bringing people on your channel. Make it fun. Be yourself. Don't try to be extra if you're not an extra person. So don't start acting extra because you now have a YouTube channel. They're gonna see through it. Just be yourself. Don't think you have to be anything more. Be yourself and people that you appeal to will subscribe to your channel. They're gonna come back for more. That's just how it works. That's just how the world works. So I don't mean to sound like a pessimist. I don't mean to be pessimistic, but when you start out a YouTube channel, they don't expect to blow, don't expect to just go viral. It doesn't work like that. Well, for some people it does, but don't expect too much so you're not let down easy. Just do what you're doing. You know, you're gonna have those faithful subscribers that are looking out for your videos. Oh, Shaliwa hasn't posted. Oh, why hasn't he posted? Where's your video? When you post, they're the first people commenting and liking and sharing your video. Mm -hmm. So don't be discouraged, but don't expect too much so you're not, you know, you're not hurt or let down when you put out a really nice video and you're like, this is the one, this is the video that's going to get me out there. And you put the video out and it's just like 20 views in one week and you're like, okay. I brainstormed, I had my notes, took me hours to edit and I just, I just get 20 views. So I get it. I get it. I know the work that goes on behind the camera. Trust me. Don't take it hard. Let that push you. Have your support group that would help you review your videos before you put them out. It could help you brainstorm like, why don't we add this? Why don't we add that? So it takes a village, literally. I definitely have those people that I send them like sample videos or it's all of those. Some people are lucky, but most likely you are not going to get as much support as you expect. And that's okay. It doesn't mean they don't want to see you win. It doesn't mean that they're hating on you. Don't take it personally. They just want to see what you got first before they endorse you. <laughs> I think that's just um, human behavior. You think that they owe you support, but no one really owes you anything. So don't take it personally when you don't get that. Um, all I'm going to tell you is support yourself. Post yourself 10 times a week if you have to. Get yourself out there. Consistency. Quality. Get your videos out there. Um, even if you don't get the support that you expected, don't stop what you're doing. That's the most important thing. Another thing that I think no one really mentions, get yourself a flash drive. Get yourself a big old flash drive. I have a one terabyte um, flash. Being a YouTuber means you will consistently run out of space on your iPhone, on your camera, on your SD card, on your laptop. It's gonna take all the space you ever thought you had. Amazon sells those. You can buy the one for about, I, I got the one that's one terabyte and every time I make a video, I sync it to my laptop and I have to save it on the flash. There's no more space on my laptop. My iPhone is barely hanging. So I'm telling you guys, just buy your flash, be ready. Um, if you can just start saving your videos onto a flash right away so you don't use up all the space on your laptop, that would be great too, but um, yeah. copyright music. No one really tells you about copyright music on YouTube. So unfortunately, you can't just use Beyonce's music, for example, in your video all the way through. You're gonna get copyrighted. And what that means is, if you were to make any money, so the video is monetized, you will not get that money. It will go to Beyonce's management team or whoever the copyright belongs to. 
Um, so you definitely want to make sure that you're using music that is not copyrighted. YouTube has some pages. If you literally just search non-copyright music on YouTube, it suggests some um, channels for you. Also, if you want to be risky, say you want to risk it all, <laughs> you can use about seven seconds of a popular song in your intro. You can also distort the sound to make it quick or make it slow so YouTube doesn't detect that you're using someone else's music and you probably won't get copyrighted. So that's a quick tip. Make it less than 10 seconds and you might not get copyrighted on YouTube. So another thing I want to mention is being camera shy. How are you going to start a YouTube and you are camera shy? Sis, bro, literally, if you want to start a YouTube and you're like, okay, I'm starting YouTube after this pandemic, for example, maybe August, I'm going to start making Snapchat videos and talking to myself on camera. I want to get comfortable with being in front of the camera. That's what I would do. And that's what I would advise you to do. I've always loved the camera. I'm kind of vain. <laughs> no, but I've always loved the camera. I was kind of awkward too, but you don't have to be like me. That's why I'm telling you. Get used to the camera before you start recording. So when you actually record, it's not so obvious that you're shy and you're like, you know, you're like, do not break the bank to make your first YouTube video. Sis, use your phone, use your iPhone. I bought a six or $700 camera when I could use my phone, but I had a really trashy phone at the time. But now I have an iPhone 11 Pro. I record all my videos on an iPhone 11 Pro. The last time I used my camera was, if you wanna scroll down my page, it was on how to shoot your shot as a girl. That's the last time I used my camera. Everything else has been my iPhone, my iPhone X and 11 Pro. So invest in a good phone. It's an investment because you get to take calls, you get to respond to text messages and all of that, and you can record. So that's an investment when you get an iPhone as opposed to a camera, but whatever you prefer, you know, I would definitely advise you to get that. Just so YouTube is pretty competitive. Um, like I said, if you're consistent, you have your video ideas ready and you are ready to just come on the market and kill it, do that. If you go viral by your first video, God bless you, you know, enjoy it and continue moving. Cause what people don't understand is yes, you want to be a YouTuber. You want to put those videos out, right? You want to get the fame that comes with being a YouTuber. But when you get the fame, do you know what you're going to do with it? Are you going to be able to maintain that fame? Are you going to be able to put out videos that you need to put out to keep that going? So it's not about just getting there. It's also about maintaining when you get there. I give this video a thumbs up. If you're starting a YouTube video soon, good luck to you. I really hope, I really, really hope that it goes great and you're successful with it. I hope this has encouraged you to make a video or to make your channel or at least made you think about it a bit more. So I hope it's done either of those for you. And once again, my name is Shalewa and I will see you guys in my next video.